Hello and good evening, y'all. And today I'm going to talk about something that's not safe for work and uh, not safe for kids either. It's for Dungeons and Dragons, and it deals with uh, the dwarf. Uh, it's a cross. It's a crossbred creatures between a dwarf and an orc. D W O R C. Now, before I get to this, could y'all help me out by hitting the like button and subscribing? It'll help me out with YouTube algorithms and help my channel grow. Now onto the dwarf. Uh, these creatures are always um, made out of hate. Um, the union is always hateful, rape, and all that. The way it starts is during a orcish raid onto a dwarven settlement. Every once in a while, a dwarven female will be kidnapped and taken back to the orc camp, uh, city, or whatever. The lucky ones would die along the way, but how brutish and evil the orcs are, they have fun, and uh, if the lucky ones die, and the unlucky ones, the super unlucky ones, are becoming impregnated with the child of an orc. Those children grow up, if the mothers have a chance, they kill the child after it's born to prevent uh, the abomination from happening. Now in my world, uh, there is a, a clan of dwarves that pays a high bounty to um, anyone that can bring in a live dwarf for them to execute. They pay $500, 500 gold pieces for a live one. And $1,000, 1,000 gold pieces, if you can bring back any uh, dwarves, female dwarves from it here, since my world is like a 4 to 1 ratio between men and women in the dwarven community. Or stats wise, you add. Uh, plus two to the strength, plus two to the constitution, minus two to intelligence, minus two to wisdom, minus two to charisma. They're just brutes, dumb, dim-witted, uncultural brutes. This can be used in any edition. They do not get the dwarven uh, women, their mothers, will not teach the child if I'll live any type of uh, Dwarven's abilities, you know, how they fight battle against goblins and all that fun stuff, and, or how they um, can um, tell, do stonework and all that fun stuff. But they do inherit the uh, Orc's uh, Dark Vision. Most of the times, the children end up they grow up being abused for the not true orcs and uh, either end up being slave labor for mines or if they're found out to, uh, in battle, they become shock troopers. The orc gods will not accept them. The dwarvish gods will not accept them. So they really have nothing to live for. So all they can do now is get make their um make their name so great that they'll be remembered in their tribes that's all they can live for so would you guys use a creature like that born out of hate and that's vile and disgusting let me know down below and if you made it this far hit the like button and subscribe and as always be good, have fun, stay safe, bye-bye.